Welcome everybody. I am Peter Bosch. Um, I'm a distinguished engineer within within Syscom. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about Secure CN, which stands for Secure Cloud Native. And really the topic of this talk is, is, is really about digging into how to secure cloud native applications. Um, in a sense, cloud native, securing cloud native applications is a difficult task. Before one would build um, a, a monolithic application, inside a monolithic application, all artifacts of an application are embedded. All call flows from an application can reach uh, within, within that one monolith um, and, and really you don't see the outside of, of, um, uh, of calls. What you do with the, with the cloud native application is you take a monolith and you take it apart. Each of the uh, fundamental issue, uh, fundamental parts of that application is going to be run inside their own container, inside their own pod, inside their own operating environment. So they're far more complicated than traditional applications. It is much harder to understand what the call flow of an application is. It's much harder to understand uh, what component calls what other component, and it's much harder to understand where the vulnerabilities in, in such applications might be. So the key questions that we need to ask ourselves when we build cloud native applications is, how, do I have visibility of all my workloads? Do I understand which uh, container communicates with what other container? Do I understand where my dependencies are? And do I understand um, when my application calls outside to, to external services? Then secondly, given that uh, I now have many more attack services for, for these, these applications relative to um, monolith, monoliths, I have very many operating systems, um, um, containers, uh, and their deployments, many more libraries uh, in image layers and congregations. Can I actually say something about the security of those uh, artifacts? And then thirdly, um, do I have the, uh, the appropriate role-based access control? For, for the security measures uh, in place? Do I actually, before I deploy my uh, very complex application, do I actually know um, uh, whether the, the appropriate roles uh, are, are articulated well? And finally, uh, one of the things that uh, I'm going to be focusing specifically on in this presentation and later in this uh, with, with, a, with a live demonstration, do I actually understand what I'm exposing my application to when I'm using APIs or application programmers interfaces? Basically, if I decompose my applications into their constituent parts, each and every of these constituent parts can be reached through an API. And do I share um, PII, personal identifiable information with that? Are my tokens uh, appropriate? Um, will I not, ex um, will I not um, um, depend on, on poorly implemented services? And all of those types of things are important uh, functions to, to um, understand when you're building a secure cloud native application. That's fundamentally what we're after with secure CN. The, the key, um, so that's one part of the, the, the conversation. Um, we were, we're going down the path of, uh, with, with all of the industry to build cloud native applications. There's a second movement in the industry as well. The developer should come first. And with that, we mean that um, as we're moving from traditional IT operations uh, to, to dev operations where the developer is now responsible for the operations of the task as well. We're now also folding in the security aspects of that. So that means the developer becomes re responsible for all things that um, uh, are part of the applications, the operations, the security aspects, and of course the development. So that means that the developer needs to have the tools to look at the visibility and do the risk assessment. Um, the developer needs to understand the policy enforcement to make sure that the application remains secure. Um, and that movement is actually called the shift left movement because um, uh, that developer is now responsible for, for those two parts in that continuous security cycle. So now we've actually seen two, two movements here. We've uh, seen that the monolith application becomes the cloud native application. And the second movement is that the developer becomes the, uh, the the key persona, the key person to make sure that the application remains operable, uh, remains um, uh, secure and remains um, um, uh, well developed. And that's, that's a perfect storm because the developer is not really well equipped for being able to say something about the security aspects of things, the operational aspects of things while developing the code. And to, to highlight that, we, we have a, a, a simple example. We have a developer, the top person, 
the SecOps person, the second person, and, and the CISO uh, in, 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 in a typical enterprise environment. So the developer's role is really to build that application in, in, uh, in, in a secure manner, but that developer really doesn't have the tools and, and the insights into what it takes to build a secure application. The SecOps person often doesn't really know what the developer has been doing. They lack the insight in what that application uh, does and what the, what the what the developer has been building over time. And lastly, that CISO at the bottom is responsible for um, the security of the entire enterprise or the line of business. And they don't have the, the, the insight into, uh, into what the developer has been doing and, and rolling this out. And mind you, the developer is building that application for, for instance, um, uh, an airline or uh, any lar a large organization uh, selling, selling stuff. So getting that security features right, especially if you build this in a, in a cloud native environment is, is kind of key. And what you really want is to come up with, with a system that allows you to, uh, each of these persona to, 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 to say something about the applications as they're rolled out. As a developer, I would like to make sure that whenever I pick a, a certain set of artifacts that go into my application, I know beforehand whether these are uh, functions that are uh, well uh, well well defined are are uh, are approved, and I would like to make sure that um, each of these functions that I stick into my application into that um, uh, distributed application are well curated and make sure uh, and have, have no vulnerabilities. As a SecOps person, the second person in this uh, arena, I would actually like to know something about. Uh, the the uh, the artifacts that are in there. So if my system can track all of these things that are in the application, even when it's running, or uh, or, or when the developer is building that, I will just want uh, I would just like to get a, a curated list of all the assets of that application. And then lastly, as a CISO, really uh, if if I can get out of that system a curated list saying this developer is building this airline application, and these are all of the internal assets that are used for building that application. We, uh, and I know that uh, the configuration is is, uh, is checked. I know that the APIs that are being used are, are well built. I know that uh, the container infrastructure um, are um, uh, is, is, is pre-checked. I can actually uh, uh, tick mark all of these, these, these steps into, into the development. And I'm actually pretty certain that my application is, runs little risk. That's really what secure CM. Is, is enabling. So what we do in Secure CN is we maintain for every of these applications that a developer builds, the vulnerabilities, the weaknesses, telemetry when the application is running, and finally uh, we test uh, systems when they're either in staging mode or in, even in live mode uh, uh, for, for, for weaknesses. Once we find issues with, with a deployment, we can then uh, put that pipeline uh, at work again and uh, allow the developer to quickly fix those those those, those solutions um, while the application is running and while the vulnerabilities have been have been found. That means that as a as a SecOps person, um, I will know beforehand whether there are vulnerabilities, and as a CISO, I can be proactive towards my customers and, and indicate whether or not uh, my uh, the applications that I'm exposing their data to um, are at risk. So API security, um, uh, like I said before, uh, a key component of, um, uh, of cloud native deployments is kind of a new frontier for, for security and vulnerability testing. And cloud native, re uh, cloud native really implies that many more API attack services are available. We need to protect those. That's really what, uh, what we're, we're doing within Secure CN. So to give that um, uh, some, some um, uh, deployment options, we're introducing Secure CN and API Clarity. So Secure CN on the left is this entire package built around Istio Envoy and allows you to, to say something, uh, allows you to manage all of the applications that are hosted in uh, a cloud native deployment, in a Kubernetes cloud native deployment. Separately, we know that uh, it can be a tall order to really start with Secure CN. Uh, and uh, but to, to, to roll this out for a Kubernetes environment. We also deploy, we also deliver uh, an open source package called API Clarity. It's kind of a slimmed down version of Secure CN, and it really gives you that gives you that that insight into the applications as they're running. So on the left hand side, Secure CN, you have all of the bells and the whistles to understand what the application is doing, and you actually get to control uh, the security aspects of your application. On the right hand side, API Clarity, it gives you really that insight into in, into that application. 
um, uh, infrastructure and it will actually tell you kind of like a Wireshark um, mode what kind of APIs are being used inside your application. So to highlight this a little bit further, um, security and services are really uh, listed here in, in, in six, six windows uh, in a very fast pace. Uh, we have uh, integration with with secure x uh, sso uh, sso installation so that you can uh, you can uh, sign on uh, uh, through a, through a single sign on service then we have um, insights into um, application security dashboards with kubernetes workloads configuration issues uh, role based access controls and the apis that are being used inside your application we provide an inventory to to internal and external apis we provide scoring to those and the risks associated with those. And we have wizards uh, for, for, for policy enablement and policy descriptions uh, for, for managing the security of your, of your applications. Finally, to, to, to aid the, the CISO, we have mechanisms to, to generate CISO security reports and to, to really help an outcome-based security um, solution. We, we support this through the MITRE attack risk analysis tool. From, from API clarity perspective, kind of like that slimmed down version of, of secure CN. What we do is we actually provide that visibility in, in one solution. So if I have a Kubernetes, Kubernetes cluster with an Envoy proxy, what we do is we mirror the traffic from that, uh, from that application into API clarity. And based on that mirroring, we will then provide um, uh, first the open API specification that is being, uh, that is being deployed for these, uh, for these interactions. We will then show the, the actual use. We will identify which um, internal and what external APIs are going to be used. And when we show how the uh, specifications are different from, from those that are specified. The open source version is out there. Uh, the secure CN version uh, is, uh, um, uh, is, is, um, uh, is, is available through, 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 through Cisco. Um, and, and both versions uh, serve, serve their purpose. In terms of development community, um, my suggestion would be to start with API Clarity. Um, if you really are into into the into the enforcement of your cloud native application, Secure CN is the right toolset for you. So let me stop here and switch into a, a live demonstration of Secure CN. To demonstrate Secure CN, what what I'll be showing is is a sample application called the Sock Shop. Sock Shop is a, a Google application that is specifically built for demonstrating the capabilities of cloud native application. Sock Shop is built uh, by a, a bunch of containers, and each of these containers will do uh, a part of the application. There's a part for payments, there's a part for front end, there's a part for a cart, and whatnot. And of course, there is a part that actually keeps these wonderful socks. So uh, let's assume that I would like to buy one of these one of these socks. These 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 weave special uh, socks, costing seventeen dollars and fifteen cent. I can add them to my cart, and once they're added to my cart, uh, I can register myself. And and the actual registration itself doesn't matter. Uh, in this in this application, it's just a fake application. But now I've registered myself, which means that I can uh, um, uh, I have an item in my cart, and I can actually buy these these socks. And if I now uh, go to my cart, I, I will see that I have these parts, the, the, these socks in my cart. I add a shipping address. Again, the actual information doesn't matter. I update that and, and I, I'll add my magic credit card, one, two, three, four. Uh, and now I'm ready to, to purchase these socks. And the reason I'm, I'm, I'm doing this is that I'm really priming that system that I'm going to be showing you in a minute, secure CN. If I now proceed to, uh, to, to check out what, what is happening in the background is that there's a lot of communication between the containers. Um, if I actually press, but there's, there's a lot of communication between these containers to actually make this transaction work. And in fact, we actually expanded on this one uh, and we actually are doing a call into PayPal, into the sandbox of PayPal to help, uh, help us build that, that uh, experience with a cloud native application. So now the socks have been ordered, and I can look into secure CN, what, the, what it actually can tell me about my service. So the very first thing I can see here is a dashboard. And that dashboard tells me something about the overall deployment. It will tell me about the workloads, the front-end payment cards catalog and catalog DB, and it will tell me something about the APIs, the external APIs that I'm using inside my application. 
Now, in the interest of time, I will model each of each of each these, these boxes. Suffice it to say, uh, as I was saying before, we have a mechanism to generate a report um, of all of the security findings. But the real interesting thing here is to start looking into the actual application. So the actual application is listed here. We have a SOC shop. If I expand on that, you, you will actually see the, all of the containers that are part of my SOC shop. I'll have a queue master, a Revit queue, a shipping container, orders, carts, front end, catalog, user, and all of these arrows indicate an internal API that is being used. And moreover, I also have an external API, api.sandbox.paypal.com. These are all the assets and the artifacts that are being used inside, inside this application to actually make the operation work. But what can we say about each of these um, uh, components? We can look into uh, each of uh, uh, each of the services. We can find that, for instance, RabbitMQ may have a, um, a high risk of deploying these types of things. And we can look into the, the specific issues. Orders, similar color, may have issues. The payment infrastructure has, has, has issues uh, as well. And mind you, this is, this is an application specifically built for showing these kinds of interactions. So this is a fake application. Um, uh, when you're deploying your own application, undoubtedly uh, none of these, these colors will be red or, or, or orange. And then separately, uh, we show that the payment container, just to make that transaction work, communicates with API m.sandbox.com. And we can manage this with, we can manage the security of the containers. Uh, we can look into all of these, these various issues of the containers. But for the purposes of this call, I would like to uh, focus on the in internal and the external APIs that are used. So if I were to look into the um, internal APIs, these are all the um, internal APIs that are being used inside this particular application. I have an orders, I have a payment, I have a number of payment services because uh, I've restarted uh, before this before this recording a few times and that's why it's listed a few times. Uh, and I have a user container, a shipper container, and a catalog container. And these are really uh, those, those APIs that we can use to communicate between those services. So now let's assume that we would like to capture a request going from um, my payment container into apim.sandbox.paypal.com. This is something that we can actually trigger in secure CN as well. We allow it for the establishment of policies. We have deployment rules that, that say something about how applications gets deployed. And we have con connection rules. So for this particular case, I actually installed a, um, a policy that says intercept all APIM sandbox or PayPal.com traffic and any pod can communicate with APIM sandbox or PayPal.com with all paths using get and post methods and HTTPS traffic is intercepted. What this says is really that all traffic between uh, any pod in, in, in the SOC shop and, ex uh, and the external service APIM.sandbox.com gets intercepted, and if it's a get or a post uh, method, then it's it's intercepted. So before this demonstration, I did that already with uh, the Weave uh, Socks, the Sock Shop application. So if I now go back into the navigator, I, actually, I can actually see um, that uh, unlike the uh, the case uh, earlier in, that pres in this presentation, now I have a little check mark, a little uh, exclamation mark here, that says that, yes, I actually triggered a rule, intercept API, uh, APIM sandbox or PayPal.com, and I'm actually detecting that communication. Again, I can, I can do that a little bit deeper. I can look into the connections. I can look into all of the uh, payment um, workloads, and I can, uh, I can then look into the layer seven attributes and all of the, all of the other attributes for this particular operation. Now in secure CN, um, even though I showed you a, a very tiny piece of, of, the, of the operations, we can look into the URLs, we can look into the, um, uh, into the methods, we can look into um, uh, the parts that are there, we can reconstruct the open API specification, we can actually detect differences between the specifications, we can look into the containers, we can look into the configurations of the, uh, of the, of the containers, and it really gives that, that, that overall view to, to, to one's application. Feel free to reach out uh, if you're interested in, in the design, uh, design partnership program. Separately, we have API Clarity open source, uh, and it really gives us visibility in the API use of, of services, and it does all of the open API reconstruction, kind of like the Wireshark for, for APIs of your cloud native application.
So again, feel free to reach out and um, looking forward to your feedback, both on security and, and API clarity. Thank you very much.